What's up, everybody? Dr. Giggles in the house from SFNE Online, and of course, your host of the Gross Show and the Hornapalooza podcast. This is your weekly update number six. And in this video, we're going to be talking about a few topics, a call to action, and don't forget about Fairtown's movie. So before we get into all this stuff, uh, make sure that you subscribe if you're new here. Make sure you click the notification bell so you don't miss out on all the cool stuff. Make sure you join the SFNA online forums. And make sure you give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. If you didn't like it, give us a thumbs down. We don't care. And make sure you leave us a comment what you thought about all the stuff that we're talking about. Now let's just get on into this because it's kind of like a weird uh, kind of uh, weekly update before the Grow Show. Uh, by the time you see this, probably the Grow Show will come first, but that's okay. Um, maybe not. Who knows? We'll see when I decide to release this. But anyway, anyway, anyway. All right, so we need to let you know that, number one, uh, the Grow Show does not happen on Thursday. It's going to happen on Wednesday this week because myself and Luke are going to PAX East, which is a video game convention that is located in Boston, Massachusetts. And, of course, we're going to get coverage of that so you can see anything to do with video games, card games, uh, tabletop games, anything to do with PCs, Xbox, Nintendo, Sony, VR, whatever crazy crap going on. <coughs> and uh, we're going to have lots of fun with that. So we'll post pictures. We'll, pro we'll try to go live during... This so make sure you keep checking, you know, social media between Instagram, Twitter, um, Facebook, and you'll see all the links for everything. Well, like uh, you'll see at the end of this video where to find us. Make sure you follow us on everything that we have so you stay up to date. So if there, also, there's other things you want to see us uh, cover at Pax East. Let us know down below. Now, the next thing that we want to make sure that we cover was the weird news at Six Flags Magic Mountain that Green Lantern uh, is no is officially been confirmed that they are removing this coaster, though it has been seen running. The rumor around the campfire, and we're going to talk more about this on the Grove Show, but the quick synopsis of all this, to keep your mind in gear, so we talk about that this week, that, um, yeah... We are going to uh, talk about this because it looks like they're running it because they're going to um, sell it, ship it off, something. I don't know. I never got that credit, and a lot of people said it wasn't worth your time, and they said that the ride sucked. I don't know because I never wrote it. I don't have an opinion on it. But I know it's Inman's version of Before the Ecoaster, and I heard it was not pleasant. There are some people that love it. Like, my brother, he loves that ride. He's got the credit, and I didn't get the credit, damn it. All right, so the next thing was Copperhead Striker had media day last week, and then it opened to the public on Saturday, and I've been hearing mixed reviews. Like, a lot of it's really great. A lot of people, you know, bitching and moaning that, oh, the launch, oh, it's not as intense. Oh, what the hell is this crap? But then on the flip side, uh, people are realizing the ride is for what it is, and it's more about the hang time, the air time. They say it's fast, low to the ground, and they say it's a phenomenal ride, and it's a hit for the park. And then, you know, you, you just see people talking about it, and it seems like it's going to be a great thing. Again, I have not written this yet, and I will. And then I'll give you what I think is, even though my opinion is not the holy grail. But I'll just tell you my thoughts on it in case you actually give a crap what I think. But, yeah, it'll... We'll see. I mean, the theming that I've seen was phenomenal. Uh, the ride looks cool. I love the JoJo roll. I mean, it's kind of like Hydra. I don't know how many have been to Dorney Park and rode Hydra. And then coming out of the station in the JoJo roll, I love that thing. I love it coming out like that. And then you go, whoosh, you know, you go inside the, what's in the shed? And then people have already ruined what's inside the shed. Um, but, um, you know, the whole storyline to it, the queue line, the theming is excellent. It looks like a fantastic ride. I can't wait to try it. Uh, to me, I think it'll probably be better than Fury 325, but again, my opinion, I don't think, like, Fury's a huge, like, a, an amazing coaster. Like, it's a good coaster, but I don't think it's amazing. I actually think it's better than Millennium Force, but, I mean, that's my opinion. I mean, what I love, you guys probably hate, and what you guys love, I probably hate. It's all right. We can agree to disagree. It's okay. We can still be friends. We can still be friends. It's all about positivity. It's all good. So, uh, also with that being said, uh, what do I have on my list here? All right, so let's talk about uh, SFNE. Well, no, not S well, that that too. We're gonna be talking about this during the Grove Show. Uh, we um, we're, we're hyping up Six Flags New England's opening day. 
Uh, if you go on the forums, we have uh, trip meetups and stuff. We're going to talk about that stuff Wednesday about it. Uh, for, so for this week and next week, we're going to be hyping up because next week the park opens. And then we can get out of this with the blues kind of thing. And it's going to be awesome. And I can't wait to go. And it'll be great. It's going to be great. We're going to have fun. Rain or shine. Right now, the, the outlook for the weather is... Uh, like 58 degrees and rain potentially, but who cares? Just dress accordingly. Bring extra clothes in case you get soaked. Or you can buy some extra clothes. When you got when you got the membership, you get awesome discounts and then you can get some good stuff. You know, so uh, with that being said, uh, yeah, so make sure you tune in Wednesday night, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time or whatever time it is. Uh, and, and join the conversation. Join the SFNA Online family. We can have fun. And uh, before we go, before we go, uh, make sure that um, you do not forget, because now we have an official time, <coughs> the Fairtown Extreme Fairs movie, it's going to premiere on the Hornapalooza podcast. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, trying to get over this, whatever the hell I got. Uh, YouTube channel, and um, it's going to be 8 p.m., it's a Saturday night. It's April 13th. We're going to do a YouTube premiere, and you will be able to talk with myself, the owner of The Haunt, and uh, cast members. We're also, during this, going to give away uh, these puppies, too. We're just going to be just start popping them off, uh, and then you'll be able to um, grab one of these yourself. Uh, it's awesome. Um and, and speaking of the Hornapalooza podcast channel, um, effective immediately. Uh, anything to do with haunted house stuff at theme parks, the haunts, the reviews, behind the scenes, all that is going to be moved from SFNA Online's channel over to there. Like whatever's there currently is going to stay there. But from this point forward, anything to do with any of the haunts we go to from now until the end of time or whatever, that's where you will find all of the haunt stuff. Uh, like I said, don't get it twisted. You know, it's it definitely is. Um, people are confused. Like you know, like before, like when we had SFNA Online and we had the Grove Show. <coughs> While two separate entities, um, what do you call it? Uh, Owned by the same thing. It's S. It was SFNA Online. Then there was the Grow Show. But now we all merged all that together because the Grow Show really talks about you know theme park industry stuff, besides the New England stuff, whatever. And <clears throat> now that SFNA Online, the Grow Show are on one channel. Uh, so now you got SFNA Online Grow Show, and then you have Hornapalooza. It's run by me. It's owned by us. Uh, you will see people that work on SFNA Online stuff work on the Hornapalooza stuff. Plus other people that we added in, like Jimmy, Danielle, Jessica, Jeremy, that you see. I mean, you see all of us on the SFNA Online stuff. But it could be like Kyle, Sarah, uh, AJ, anything to do with the haunt stuff. It is run by SF. It's just another added thing. I did not want to oversaturate. But as I'm promoting, you guys are going to see it anyway all over the place. But I'm hoping to get it so that everybody that subscribes at SFNA Online's YouTube channel that we have that this video is on also subscribes to that one. So you're going to get the best of both worlds because I know not everybody likes Haunted House stuff. So that's why we have the separate thing. Maybe one day down the road we end doing the Hauntapalooza channel and we just call it Hauntapalooza Podcast and do a podcast and all the haunt stuff moves back. But for now, it's going to be two separate things. We'll see how it, we're going to... This is like an experiment to see how it goes. And that movie, the Fantown movie, will be there. Any horror music videos that we do at parks, haunts, whatever is going to be over there. So if you enjoy that content, make sure you subscribe. <coughs> so make sure you check that out. Anyway, we're going to get out of here. Till next time, everybody. Keep on coasting. And don't forget, Wednesday is the Grow Show. <laughs> Peace, y'all. Want to send us an email? You got a question? You got a concern? You want to see something show up in the next Grove Show with the Hornapalooza podcasts? You got uh, video ideas? Anything like that that you we're not covering that you want to see? Make sure you email us down below at 
Delice45 at yahoo.com. And make sure you put in the title SFNE Online. Now, we've had a lot of requests. People want to send us packages. People want to send us artwork. People want to send us letters. Uh, so if you want to do so, uh, put SFNE Online, uh, 400J Putnam Pike, number 258, Smithfield, Rhode Island, 02917. And uh, we'll unbox it or read it out loud. I mean, unless you say it's private and don't want it out there in the world, but that's where you can send it to. And I also want to thank each and every one of you for joining the SFNA Online family. And I can't wait to continue seeing everybody uh, responding and commenting and everything on each and every video. And uh, if you haven't yet, click that subscribe button. Make sure you click like and uh, leave comments down below. Until next time, everybody, keep on coasting, y'all. Peace!